Greetings will cover a few details about Richard Arkwright and his life in a succinct manner. Here is a short rundown of his early years, education, career, persona, accolades, notable works, legacy, and demise. Englishman Sir Richard Arkwright was a pioneering businessman and innovator during the early Industrial Revolution. He is credited with being the impetus behind the creation of the spinning frame, which later became known as the water frame after being modified to run on water. He also designed a rotating carding machine to turn raw cotton into cotton lap before spinning. He was the first to design buildings that housed automated spinning and carding processes. In order to generate mass-produced yarn, Arkwright combined power, equipment, semi-skilled labor, and the new raw material of cotton. Because of the organizational techniques he created in his Cromford, Derbyshire, mill, he received the title founder of the modern industrial factory system. Also known as Sir Richard Arkwright, famous as English inventor, inventions, spinning frame, water frame, born December 23, 1732, Preston, Lancashire, United Kingdom, died August 3, 1792, Cromford, United Kingdom. Father, Thomas Arkwright, mother, Ellen Hodgkinson, spouses, Patience Holt, Margaret Biggins, children, Richard Arkwright Jr., Susanna Arkwright, discoveries, inventions, spinning frame, water frame. On December 23, 1732, Richard Arkwright was born in Preston, Lancashire, England. His mother's name was Sarah, and his father, Thomas, was a tailor and a member of the Preston Guild. The youngest of 13 kids, Richard was. He learned to read and write from a relative, because his family was poor and his parents couldn't afford to send him to school. He worked as an apprentice for a barber in a nearby town when he was younger. His career as a barber and wig manufacturer began. Being a bright and diligent young man, he quickly opened his own store at Church Gate in Bolton in the early 1750s. He developed a waterproof dye for periwigs, a style of stylish wig, thanks to his artistic leaning. Over time, he developed his company and traveled the nation purchasing human hair for use in the production of wigs. As a wig manufacturer, he interacted with weavers and spinners, and as the demand for his wig started to dwindle, he made the decision to go into the textile industry. He developed a fascination for spinning machines in the 1760s and started building his first machine, a mechanical device, for spinning cotton thread. He worked on the spinning machine, alongside a clockmaker, named John Kay, and in 1769 he eventually received a patent for the spinning frame. Although he created the spinning frame, there were still a number of issues with spinning that needed to be resolved. To be commercially feasible, the spinning frame had to be made appropriate for widespread practical usage and the raw cotton had to be processed by hand. Lewis Paul created a carding device in 1748 and Arkwright began enhancing it. Then, in 1775, he received a patent for an innovative carding machine that turned unprocessed cotton buds into a continuous skein of cotton fibers that could be spun into yarn. To put his concept into practice, he required additional funding, so he sought for partners in Jedediah Strutt and Samuel Need, two successful hosiery producers, who were willing to try new things. Together, the three men constructed the first water powered mill in the world at Cromford in 1771. He put additional money into his equipment and automated all the spinning and prepping procedures. He eventually moved on to create mills where a single machine handled the entire yarn manufacturing process. The efficiency of the production process was significantly increased by this along with the division of labor. His innovations and business acumen contributed to the entire mechanization of the thread manufacturing process, allowing for the coordination and consolidation of all the operations under one roof. This served as a model for what would later become the factory system. 
He created factories in Scotland, Lancashire, Derbyshire, and Staffordshire, as a highly prosperous businessman. He was a brash businessman, that was challenging to work with. He was infamous for treating, the people in his plant with insensitivity. He wed Patience Holt in 1755, and the couple had a son, the same year. Sadly, his wife passed away, in 1756. In 1761, he wed Margaret Biggins, after only a few years. Only one of their three children, made it to maturity. The nickname, the father of the Industrial Revolution, aptly describes, Richard Arkwright. He is credited with developing, a mass production technique that enhanced machine productivity, standardized items, and allowed the producers to make more money. In 1786, Richard Arkwright received a knighthood, in honor of his accomplishments. At the age of 59, Arkwright passed away, at Rock House in Cromford on August 3, 1792, leaving behind a £500,000 estate. In Matlock Street Giles Church, he was laid to rest. Later, his bones were transferred to the family church in Cromford, which is now, 